Hi, this is Ted 2 Tony playing my theme song. Enjoy. Hi, this is Ted 2 Tony Alton, and I'm here at the uh, Cozy Inn, Cozy Drive In. It is the birthplace of the hot dog on the stick, or the cozy dog, otherwise known as a corn dog, but you don't call it a corn dog here because the idea was stolen uh, from the proprietor of this drive in. Uh, and they called it a corn dog and marketed it all over the U.S., but he actually invented it. His son is a famous artist that renders pictures from along Route 66. Bob Waldmeyer, and uh, I believe the Waldmeyer family still owns it. But we're going to go inside and eat, and uh, I'm going to show you around, show you the sign. And I've heard that they have the best hot dogs on a stick anywhere. So let's check this out. Here's the sign. It's called Cozy Drive-In, home of the Cozy Dog which is the original name of corn dog before it was stolen from them. Here's the restaurant. You can see the food sign. And they have good Route 66 memorabilia supposedly and they sell Bob Waldmeyer's artwork indoors. You can see the Route 66 sign. The other sign says Route 66 Roadside Attraction, Cozy Dog Drive-In, Springfield, Illinois, family owned and operated since 1950, home of the famous hot dog on a stick, recognized by Hampton Hotels, Save a Landmark program, is a sight worth seeing. So let's check this out. This is an original 1950s diner where they invented the hot dog on a stick. And here's some of the artwork from Bob Waldmeyer. His father opened this and invented the hot dog on a stick, otherwise known as a corn dog. Again, it was stolen from him. We have some of these prints at home. We joined the Route 66 organization, which helps um, restore and save landmarks along Route 66. They also operate the Route 66 Museum in Pontiac, Illinois. And one of the gentlemen who helped sign us up and make us uh, members sent us three free prints of Bob Waldmeyer's and again his dad started a landmark drive-in in 1950 which we're at and going to eat at right now his father invented the hot dog on a stick or the cozy dog otherwise stolen and known as the corn dog and he himself the son is an artist that um, makes artwork illustrations that com commemorate Route 66. So let's go inside and check it out. Here at the entrance is a little thing. Somebody burned his nose. Abraham Lincoln, the Lincoln Motel bus placed here in dedication to Colin Chapman, 1996. Illinois license place. I have one of these at home, a 1976 plate. Mine doesn't say collector on it though, but it was actually my dad's license plate when he was a kid. They came out in 1976, the bicentennial of our country. So I've got some different 1776 stuff that came out in 1976.
down here. I'm probably gonna have to buy myself something from here. some point and I think I'm going to buy some of these and uh, mail them out to those who want to support my videos.
Okay, our food's up, and it looks like typical drive-in food. I've got a very small chili. I ordered a small one. Here's our cozy dogs that came with a very large fry. It was a family pack with four cozy dogs. My wife has a hamburger with no bread because she's allergic to wheat. And I've got her a whole pile of pickles. And my other daughter's eating a cozy dog. Take a bite. Is it good? Said it's like the best she's ever had. Is it the best you've ever had? It is. They have trophies. World's best corn dogs or uh, cozy dogs. So I'm going to try mine and we'll find out if I think they're the best I've ever had. Here is uh, the evolution of the patented cozy dog food handler. And there was a little poster, I don't know if you guys can read it, but it was a story about the solutions that he came up with for uh, frying cozy dogs, otherwise known as corn dogs these days. But anyways, here are some of the different, um, I guess, little irons or racks that he would use to put dip them in the fryer. It's funny, it's a nurse holding a baby corn dog and feeding it a mustard bottle, and it says the birthplace of the corn dog.
Thank you. 